Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Roger H3 here again, and we are continuing our journey through Hogwarts. On the last video, we were going into Vault 12, so we're going to continue from where we left off. Um, I don't want to hold you all up too much, but if you enjoy the content, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you, my good sir. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Hmm. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Ah. Uh. I am extremely confused. Steady your wand with L. Oh, I wasn't using L. What? Steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path. Oh, the arrow is pointing where you're. Okay. I was like, there was no Rebellion. context there. There, I saw something. I should have used the touchpad for that. That would have been cool. Ooh. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the pool key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Yeah, let's do it. Investigate. After I spin in a few circles. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. What if I don't want to stay close? What if I want to go off and do my own thing? I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Mmm. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Perhaps I should. It's an A. Gotta get my wand out. Okay. Know how to cast it now. Lumos. Well done. Now the oh, I didn't even mean to actually face the right direction. I was kind of just. The light. Look out! 
already. Potato. <laughs> That's what the cast was, right? The spell. Potato. I don't know how to dodge or anything, but okay. Oh, Protego. Oh. Ow. This is weird. Oh, so I have to do the dodges, okay. I have to do that one more time, I guess. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shoot, I hit the wrong button. There we go. I, I've been doing that. Are there any more? I, shut up. I am staying close. I'm trying to see if there's any more around. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Oh, shoot. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. What is this? Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. There's a bunch of chests That's and stuff around here. That glow again. Rebellion. Lumos. Okay. Back to the same area. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Am I supposed to stand right here? It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Whoa. A head triangle. Apparently I need to fight three. There's no way. Hold. Just to, yeah, I figured that out. That he does stupefy during that. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, where did you come from? Hello. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. I'm sprinting. Where are we going? What we got here? Another gateway. Rebellion. 
Lumos. I don't know if the light is necessarily necessary, but... Rebellion. Is that another chest there? Yeah. What we got here? Interesting. Basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Oh my god, I remember Follow when they did this in Harry Potter. And then you have to like dive in the memories. All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Hmm. We've done all that we can. So we really are the chosen one again. Gotta do it with my wand too, right? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never prove it. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems. Are the key to understanding why we would all look rather different than it did a moment ago <laughs> someone's coming uh -oh. who were they i don't know but sir you shouldn't be in here <laughs> i was right ranrock seems my reputation precedes me I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found. The red eyes make, make them all look bad. Be bygone. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. <laughs> Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Wow. What a not nice guy. You're not a stand-up guy. No. At all. No, I won't. I'm the chosen one, okay? What kind of sorcery is that? 
so whatever armor and stuff he has can absorb magic and then kind of like direct it or deflect it back. Uh, this is, I guess, the defender of the vault. Metal man to the rescue. The iron giant. Thank you, sir. Why are you just standing there? so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic yeah he could like Where absorb it are we? <laughs> it can't be it seems those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here come we have a sorting ceremony to get to. Hmm. Sir, these are the woods behind Hogwarts. Yeah. That's the train we should have took, but we had to take a flying car, which we all know never works on the way to Hogwarts. Look at that beauty. Uh, so now I get at the port key games. So this is all about the port key. <laughs> that was a pretty long intro. It was good though. I like how they did like such a such a like story before pop it into the game like officially oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ramrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I like this, Professor. to meet the headmaster Fig nice of you to join us the sorting ceremony wow. is over there were obviously not i just saw someone get the hat taken off their head it seems the goblin Enough. problem has goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had left if you're lucky we might still be able to get you sorted this evening what do you mean? You just took the hat off someone. You have plenty of time and room and whatever to take me in and let me get sorted. So, I did try to check out how this sorting stuff works. I took a test to see uh, which house I should be in based off my personality. I saw they only asked you like two questions here. We'll see. We'll see how many they actually ask. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I understand this doesn't need to be like a long survey, but if it's only two questions, that's not very like very helpful with trying to uh, decide what house you're supposed to be in. Ah, yes. 
is a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore or I can't wait to start classes. Honestly, I feel like I would be so excited to probably start classes. But I also can't wait to explore. I don't know which one I would say. Probably start classes. I look forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Yes. Mm. Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what mm. is it? Mm. Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. So, I wouldn't say daring. I'm a pretty loyal person, but I don't know if I'd put loyalty either. It's either curiosity or ambition. Um, let, let's do ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. So, I'm thinking that last question is what they base your house off of because i watched somebody else do this just this part i didn't watch the game and they answered the first question different the second question the same and they also got slytherin and i do not believe i am a slytherin by any means hufflepuff hufflepuff house known for patience loyalty and hard work ravenclaw intelligence creativity and wit daring bravery and chivalry so I honestly believe I'm somewhere between Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff because I'm a hard worker. Patience. Yeah, I'm not known for patience though. So I'm definitely a Ravenclaw. We're, we're going with Ravenclaw. We're going to go against the grain here. I know a lot of people are going to pick Gryffindor and Slytherin. Um, I, I'm most definitely probably aligned with Ravenclaw in real life. So we're going Ravenclaw. Ready mind. Quick to learn. You belong in Ravenclaw. Which I don't think what house you're in really affects like the whole game much. It just affects like your uh, quarters of where you live. Yeah, smart people. Woo! Go wave my wand around. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But come on, people get hurt in sports. You are here to get focus real. on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said. I'm sure you all have plenty to Why don't you just dismiss us instead of being sus, bro? I'm sure you have stuff to do. Just say it's over. Quite Go home. Sure. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? So Professor you, Black and Professor Weasley, um, are these characters supposed to be saying, like related to I'm the Harry Potter me. characters, or is it just like coincidence? Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I'm sure it's not a Quinky Donk. They probably purposely named him that. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. 
I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. I have to solve a riddle? Uh oh. The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non being can never have been. Oh, I thought they were actually gonna like make me try to figure out the answer to it. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big a non being could never have be been. In the morning to collect but they asked who survived the longest. Thank but theoretically, you. ghosts are supposedly supposed to be afterlife, aren't they? Well. But I guess it doesn't ask about the human, it asks about the ghost. And a poltergeist is like pretty much a ghost, I guess, too. So I guess that makes sense. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Rebellion. Anything good in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Is the common room up? Whoa. Just have to wait for the right moment. I guess I can't go in there. I suppose some introductions are in order. What are we doing here, my guy? Everett? One moment. Watch this. Uh. uh what is this? Can someone throw a dumb ball? <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the You aren't going to like look backwards oh, and well. see who it was or anything. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. I feel. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I like this guy. I'm looking forward to my I'm first glad day. To be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb. And I'm still here. Wait. Did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Thanks, Everett. What a guy. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. Yeah, what are we looking you at? Think you could... Ah! Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Heck yeah. Love astronomy. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. Oh yeah, it was such an enjoyable experience. I take it you like astronomy. Oh yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also... There's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy, astronomy is, is very intriguing. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Sure. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I'm guessing these conversations differ depending on what house you're in. I don't know if the names of the people differ, but um, I find that interesting. Because I, I actually very much think I align with these conversations already, so. Oh, he doesn't even bite the apple? Come on. I'm definitely a nerd. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Who? Find it's golden what? gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Disney seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Disney is amazing. I'm so a Ravenclaw. <laughs> so much healing power in such a little plant. 
<laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. For plants. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wigan World Potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Yeah, he's quite acknowledgeable. Does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Um, do most of, yeah, let's ask you a question about this. Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. Mm. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Perfect. Isn't Hufflepuff who An likes plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a raven claw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Good to know. I know who I'm going to for uh, it was nice all of my plant you, needs. Good luck with your Disney. Maybe Thank she can you. plant me a mandrake. Good luck to you too on your first day. Oh, thanks. You had best not keep her waiting. That's my name, New Ravenclaw. What is this? Can I... Rebellion. Can I... Hello? Hello? Can I not do anything with that? Oh, downstairs. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by once again. I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content. Thanks.